Hello. Hey. What's up? It's been a minute. I think the last time I filmed something was in the winter. And it is summer. No, it's, well, it's May 26th. Which is kind of summer. So, like, it's summer. But anyway, you probably don't care. So, I've kind of been getting into books lately which throughout my whole life i haven't really read very much and that's because i have dyslexia hello yes i mentioned this in most of my videos even though it's not a big deal like i don't even think about it like at all but it just tends to come up when i read even though like i'm not that bad at reading anymore to be honest like, most of my life i have not read because you know the words got jumbled and shit but Lately, like this year, I got into booktube. Like I started watching like reviews on books, and people talking about their least favorite books, and their favorite books. I was like, why do I enjoy this so much I don't even read? And then I was kind of thinking, why don't you try reading? Like why don't you pick up one book? So I did, and I read that book. I actually have it right here. This was the first book I ever, I've <laughs> not ever read, but you know what I'm saying. I read for like enjoyment, not because I was in high school and I had to read of Mice and Men, even though I didn't read it, I just pretended to. I didn't read that book, did I? I read like one book that was required, the rest of them I think I just didn't read, I just like heard what people said about them in the class. But anyway, this was the first book I got, and I read it. I, I haven't even told you what I'm doing. I'm doing a book haul, by the way, because this one book, which actually, and it was okay. I would give it like a three star. Yeah, it's maybe 3.1. Like, I really like the cover. That's why I bought it. I thought the cover was beautiful. But the book was good. It, yeah, it was good. Like, like three star. Like, I guess it was a little above average. Nothing special. I liked it. But so I read this book. And that's what got me in to, like, buying books. No, not this one. Actually, I'll show you what got me into books. Here, where is it? Did I bring it down? Oh no, I didn't. It was Love, Simon, or Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda. I went to watch the movie with my friends, and I was like, oh, that was a cute movie. And they all cried and stuff, and I didn't cry. Because I'm not a baby. Just kidding. <laughs> I cried in the book. <laughs> but anyway, I was like, that's a cute book. I mean, a cute movie. And then I got the book, because I watched the movie when I was in Seattle, like, a year ago. And I read, like, the first chapter, and I was like, oh, this is good. It's probably just gonna be another We Are Okay. Maybe I'm just not into books. And then I kept reading it, and I was like, uh, like, wait a second. Why is this so good? And I couldn't put it down, and I kept, like, I read it in, like, two days. And then I was like, okay, I've been missing something. There is a whole world of books. So, that's how I got into books. And now I'm kind of obsessed with them. I've, like binge bought a ton so i'm going to do a book haul for everybody and hopefully you enjoy it's gonna be a great time i've read like so this book haul i guess would be hmm. i mean this one i bought like a year ago but other than that the rest of them i i bought more recently i think like a five month book haul so yeah I'll just show you what I bought. Here's the first one. I just bought this recently, and I uh, have started reading it, but I know my favorite booktuber, A Clockwork Reader, loves this book, so I bought it. Also, like, fun little story. When I bought Six of Crows, the lady who, like, was at the front desk who, like, paid for it with... Yeah, she said it was her favorite book, so that was kind of... Also, another reason I was excited to read it. It's called Six of Crows, and I started reading it, and I really like it. It's, like, very interesting. I'm on page 27. The only thing in it is that it has a lot of big words, and, like, as you can tell, I'm not that smart. So, <laughs> I, a lot of the times, I'm kind of like, what does that mean? But other than that, it's really good, and it's really well written, too. And it's interesting. I liked the part when she was on the roof. And, like... That's all. I mean, I haven't really read that much, so anyway. But yeah, this is the first one. And I started reading it, and I think I'm going to read more today because I really liked it. Here's the second... Ooh, did you hear that? It's a voice crack. Here's the second book. I bought They Both Die at the End. Uh, and I got in 
141 pages into it. I would say this is another three... I would probably give it a three and a half star so far. I mean, I haven't finished it, but I don't know. Sometimes books don't click with you or just stuff doesn't click with you. And I know a lot of people like this book. And I can see why they like this book. It's, like, good. But it's, like, not one of those books that I can't put down. Like, I have... I When I started reading it, I noticed I wasn't reading as much because it was, like, I didn't exactly <laughs> want to read it, if that sounds bad. But when I did read it, I liked it and stuff. It just... It didn't hit that chord with me. I'm gonna finish it. I'm not DNFing it. But did you like that? See, I know some of, like, the book terms because I watched book two. Uh, the next one I got is Call Me By Your Name. I got this one a while ago because I watched the movie and it crushed me. I actually made a video on it. And my first comment I ever got, hello, shout out to my first commenter. I forgot your name, but I know you had a picture of Elio as your thumbnail. She or he, they said, I should read the book. And I still haven't, but I want to. My sister said she read a little bit of it and she said that it seemed kind of like a book you were required to read. You know, like, what was one uh, I was required to read? Uh, Mice and Men, I already said that. <laughs> but, like, a school book. But I'm definitely going to read it because I loved the movie. The movie was just... Man. And usually the books are better than the movies. Like, Love, Simon. Oh my god, I remember I finished Love, Simon, the book. And I watched the movie and I was like... Um... Excuse me? where like it wasn't even it was like I, it was almost like i couldn't even watch it okay here's the tea i don't think that simon was cast right for the movie like i just did not imagine simon to look like that the actor to me looked like you know the captain of the football team and i imagined simon to more look like you know, the cute theater nerd. I don't know, controversial opinion, maybe. Uh, the only person I thought was cast really well was Abby. And Bram. I thought Bram was really well cast as well. Yeah, I thought that was kind of exactly how I imagined Abby to look like. Next book I got is uh, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I got it because a clockwork reader, this is like her favorite book, and I really enjoy her videos, so I like do a lot of the recommendations. My other favorite book, Tuber, it's not a booktuber, but, like, a writing YouTuber is Jenna Moresi. I think she's really funny. And, like, I love to watch all her videos of, like, writing and stuff. Also, my sister told me her friend, this was, like, his favorite book, too. So, it's probably pretty good. And I still haven't read it. I haven't read most of the books I bought because I'm a spender and I like to go buy things. Because it makes me happy. <laughs> and I just really like the look of books on a shelf you know what i'm saying and also i just like to feel the books <laughs> but yeah i haven't read this one either but i will i'm going to read all my books i'm making that a goal for myself i got leon the offbeat by becky albertelli i read like 50 pages i think i have the bookmark in here I do. that's my school id i got to 44 pages and i didn't like it very much because i liked leah in the in the first book but I don't know. It. I feel like one of my favorite things about um, Simon vs. Homo Sapien Agenda was that there was like a mystery, even though I knew who like who Blue was, and I really liked the format of how it was like a chapter was just like his life, and then it was another chapter was um the emails between Blue and Simon, and I really liked that. But with this one, I don't know. It just felt like there wasn't really a plot. I mean, I know I'm on page 44 and I'm going to finish it because I bought it and it was like fucking expensive $18 so that's a lot for a book so I'm gonna finish it but I just I didn't like it it didn't grab me like Love Simon did so yeah the next book I got was this one what if it's us I know it's a gay book and I, want, I love gay books so I wanted to get a gay book and also Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera who wrote this one the they both die at the end, like, collab. I and mean, they're pretty popular authors, so I thought, why not get it? And so I did. And I haven't read it, but my sister read it. And she said it was good, but, like, not great or anything. And I think that's what the reviews on Goodreads said, too. Now this one, I really love this book. It is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. And I got a signed copy, which I'm really happy about. See? 
Look at me. Oh, it's hard to do this. Oh. Beach. No one can see that. Look, isn't that fucking cool? Aren't I cool? Like, I know you're probably jealous. I have a signed copy. Like, you know. T. But anyway, I read like 106 pages of this book, or like more. Actually, a lot more. But then I told my dad about it. And my dad's really into fantasy as well. We actually listened to Harry Potter together. And uh, that is like the most serious I've ever heard of. But anyway, and I was like, this is a really good book. We should listen to it um, on the drive up north because we go to our up north cottage a lot because it's just super fun. And on the ride there, we usually listen to an audiobook. I was like, this is a really good book. Let's get it on audiobook. And we got it on Audible. Um, you can use my link below. <laughs> I'm joking. I nine subscribers. Yeah, so we started listening to it. So I haven't finished it because we're waiting to listen to it on the, when we go back up north for a ride. But I love this book. Oh my god, it's so good, and it's so entertaining, and I remember it was starting to be like when, where I couldn't put it down, but then I did because we were listening to it on audiobook. And by the way, I actually think I recommend the audiobook more than the actual book, because the lady who does the audiobook, her voice is like perfect. Like perfect. It's awesome. Like I was listening to it and it's like, how does someone do such a good job on an audiobook? It's a great book. I haven't finished it, but I already love it, so recommend. Here is um, another book I got. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets um, of the Universe. And boy, I finished it, and this is my favorite book I've ever read. It's so good. Just so good. Like, I don't think I've ever read a book that I liked more than this. It gave me, like, every single feel, and it made me cry, and it just, uh, dude, like, buy this book. It's so good. And it was already hyped, too. Like, I thought I would like it going into it, because uh, I know a lot of the booktubers talked about this book, but <laughs> I can't even explain my emotions. This will probably always be my favorite book I've ever read. It's just... It's like perfect and everything was just all the questions you ever had in this book were wrapped up perfectly at the end of the book. I love Dante. Dante is like my favorite. Ugh. Dante is like my favorite character ever. Him and Toru Honda. So, tangent. The new Fruits Basket came out. I mean, my sister rewatched the first one before we started watching the new one. And. I have thoughts on the new one. I was thinking about making a video. I like the new one, but there are things about it that I have a, a few problems with. Because the old one was just, ugh. Like, Toru. <laughs> Toru is my baby. She's like my, probably my, Toru and Dante are like my two favorite characters ever. I also really love Khaleesi too. And like Hermione. But, like, I think Toru and Dante are, like, the top. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's just a tangent. But you should so read this book. <laughs> yeah, I think you should go into it not knowing what's it, what's it about. What is it? Not knowing what it is about. What's it about? I don't know. You should, you should go in knowing nothing about this book. Because it's just, just know... I would recommend this book to anybody just because I think it's so good and I love it so much. So then I got The Inexplainable Logic of My Life by the same guy who wrote Aristotle and Dante. It's just, I loved Aristotle and Dante so much that I bought this and it was like a really good deal on Amazon. So I was like, why not? And yeah, so I think I got this for $6 on Amazon and it's... $17, no, $18, like, usually, so it's like, okay, I am definitely getting this, and I love the author, so, right. The next book I got is Safe by Neil, dude, I can't do last names. This was a book that I hadn't heard anything about, but I went to Barnes and & Nobles, and I thought the cover looked really cool, and then I was like, okay, let me read the back, and I read the back, and I was like, Okay, that sounds extremely interesting. 
So I bought it. And I also looked on Goodreads and I got like a 4.4 .4 on Goodreads or something. Which means it's probably really good. So I bought it. And this one was just like a random buy that I was not thinking about. But I am kind of excited to read this one. I think after I finish The Six of Crows, if I'm still in like a fantasy mood, I'll do this one. Okay, the next one I got is... Now this one's a controversial book, I know. But it's Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I've heard lots of things about this book. I've heard people hate it. I've heard people love it. Um, my dad actually read it, and he liked it. So I was like, why not just get it? So I did, and <laughs> I'm on page 36, and I have a few things to say. I like it. I actually do like it. But I can see why people are like, Ugh, like, Selena, she's just too perfect. Like, she's a sassy assassin who is, like, good at everything. So I get that, but at the same time, like, it's entertaining, so I don't really care that much. And the concept is kind of cool as well. But anyway, I got this, and I am probably going to finish reading it. So, yeah. Okay, the next one I got is, I got this one off Amazon, and I hate how on Amazon, sometimes the book co the books come a little crusted and busted from the shipping process, which I got 13 Reasons Why, um, and this has a little crustal. 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 So apparently, my book has a crustal on it, like the Pokemon. And this one has a little divot in it. But I really liked the Netflix series, and I know a lot of people give this book, like, a lot of shit and just the series in general. And at first, when I first watched it, like, when it first came out, I was like, I don't really like this show. And then I rewatched it, and I was like, actually, I kind of really like this show. And I actually kind of like the second season as well, even though it was, like, a little traumatic. But I don't know. I liked the show, and I liked... I don't know, I, I just kind of liked it, so I was like, I guess I'll get the book and see how it is. So that's why I did it, and, you know, I'll see. I think I'll like it, because I liked the show. And I know a lot of people hate the show, but, I don't know, I liked it, I thought it was good. The last book I have in my book haul is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. And I've just heard so many good things about this book. It got, like, a, a really high rating on Goodreads, and so many people love it. And I really like the cover as well. I think the cover is really cool. So, I know it was made into a movie. I never saw the movie. Actually, I don't want to see the movie until I read the book. I'm excited for this one. I saw it on the shelf in Barnes & Noble. And I was like, okay, maybe I should buy that book. But I ended up not buying it. And then I was like, kept buying more and more books. Because I spend money on an impulse. There'll be someone like, okay, I want that. Let's just get it. I was like, okay, get all the books you want. And then you are not allowed to buy any more until you finish all the ones on your shelf. I was like, okay. So I went on Amazon and I ordered The Hate You Give, 13 Reasons Why, and they both died at the end because I wanted to get all those books. And now I have this thing where I'm not allowed to buy another book until I finish the rest of the ones I have on my shelf. I got this one, and yeah. That's the end of my book haul. I'm excited to read this one, too. But if you learn anything from this video, I really recommend this book. That's it. This is uh, pictures in the background, if you're wondering. Uh, I'm in my basement because it's the best lighting. But yeah, that's it. This was fun. I like filming videos because I just ramble and I talk to myself and, like, it's kind of a good old time. But yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>